For 75 years of investing in downtown Denver while acting as a catalyst in uh, driving support for nonprofit organizations and civic initiatives that I think you all will agree inspire, educate, and enrich the lives of many Colorado citizens, our next award goes this evening to the Betcher Foundation. <laughs> Charles Betcher arrived in the land of opportunity in the late 1860s as a German immigrant with the American dream in sight. The Betcher family built a fortune here in Colorado, expanding a hardware business into an empire that included Great Western Sugar and Ideal Cement. And just as their family roots run deep parallel to Colorado's history, the Betcher Foundation has been investing in downtown Denver since its establishment 75 years ago. Claude Betcher went to his father, Charles, and uh, sat down with dad and said, you know, I have one son and we have made millions of dollars here in Colorado and we should return our, our wealth to the citizens of Colorado. So they, they incorporated in 1937 and since then the foundation has been making grants only in the state of Colorado. It started with a $500 grant to St. Anne's Convalescent Home in 1937. And by 1970, the Betcher Foundation was awarding more than $2 million in grants every year. In its 75-year history, the Betcher Foundation has contributed over $310 million to nonprofit organizations across the state. Of that $310 million, $178 million has been contributed in the Denver metropolitan area alone. Being 75 years old uh, in the foundation has given us the opportunity with that period of time to serve as a leader in, uh, in philanthropy throughout the state. These philanthropic grants have acted as a catalyst for downtown Denver's growth and prosperity, particularly with capital projects such as museums and civic buildings. The list is nearly infinite. The Betcher Foundation has contributed over $2 million to the uh, Denver Performing Arts Center. We've contributed $4 million to the Denver Art Museum and about $2.6 million to History Colorado Museum. One project that, that we really were essential to in involving ourselves in and uh, to its completion uh, was the Betcher Concert Hall, where the symphony plays. Uh, was something that we decided the board prior to my coming to the foundation that they would like to have a signature uh, building that would uh, be named after the Betcher family. In addition to their visible support of arts and culture, the Betcher Foundation has invested in other long-term initiatives as well, including biomedical research, education, and countless social needs. And taking what I would call probably a patient and innovative approach, you know, investing in things that were going to be long-term, trying to address homelessness by giving grants to Urban Peak and Denver's Road Home, and then also supporting the cultural institutions like the Symphony and the Performing Arts Center, but also the Denver Art Museum, the Biennial, and then most recently the Civic Center Conservancy, as well as the rehabilitation of the Nichols Building. And these are all the institutions that are really anchors for downtown. Claude and Edna Betcher left their estate, including their ornately decorated mansion, the heart of their family life for 35 years, to the foundation. The home was then donated to the state of Colorado to serve as the governor's residence as a tribute to the family. And they thought that it would be a, a perfect spot for, for the governor to live and, and to be able to entertain uh, all the dignitaries that would come to Colorado, but also to entertain the people of Colorado, to really have a place that's Colorado's home that people all over the state could be proud of. It's safe to say that without the Betcher Foundation's generous contributions over the years, downtown Denver would not be the same. All the businesses that the Betcher family started did leave a very visual and impactful presence in downtown. You know, we have the Sugar Building in Lodo and the Ideal Cement Building and the Boston Building and then later the Brown Palace Hotel, which the, the family owned. And so I think there are those physical reminders of the Betcher legacy and the foundation is really the philanthropic arm of that and the way that that legacy has carried forward. Well, we've long recognized that we're not able to write the biggest check, but we do aspire to having the biggest impact. And I just want to point out, too, uh, one thing you will notice tonight is that the Betcher Foundation has uh, granted a lot of money to many of our winners here tonight. So all of us have been touched by the work they've done for the past 75 years. Please welcome Betcher Foundation President and Executive Director Tim Schultz and Trustee Thomas Williams. And the award presented by awards dinner chair Molly Broren.
thank you. It's, it's a great honor for us to be here tonight, not just to receive this award, but to be here with the other award recipients that have done just remarkable things in the last year. And also to find out that Greg Moss is a part of the Betcher family. So we're, we're excited about that. And we, Greg, we've got some ideas or things that we'll further involve you in. <laughs> you know, this started more than 75 years ago. This started with Charles and Claude Betcher. They were so influential, so instrumental in the building of Denver in its formative years. And then for them to sit down, a father and a son, and say, we want to give more and we want to give it forward. We want to give it beyond our lifespan. And to set in motion the foundation which started in 1937. What is so special about this award today for us, it touches our trustees, and most of them are here with us tonight. It touches our staff in a very special way. We all work hard to honor the legacy of the family, to honor the donor intent of the family, to make Colorado, to make Denver a better place, to help Colorado, to help Denver grow. And what this award is, it's a visual statement that says to us that over that 75 years, former trustees, former staff of the foundation have all been true to that vision. And that idea that the Betchers had, Claude and Charles had, to make Denver a better place truly uh, in many ways has been fulfilled and that it goes forward 75 years later. So thank you all very much who participate in the many great things you do in this city and particularly uh, Tammy and the partnership. Uh, we're deeply touched by this and, and all we can say is thank you.